these three women saved my life. And last, but certainly not least, is uh, my former nephrologist, Dr. Pogwarin Fasawazdi. So as you can probably tell, she's Thai. She got about 20 letters in her last name. And uh, because of um, me relocating and going to a different dialysis center, unfortunately, I was not able to keep her as my nephrologist. So what exactly did she do to like save my life? When I initially got sick and um, with the HLH and my kidney started to fail afterwards, uh, she was assigned as my nephrologist. This woman stayed by my side every step of the way. Anytime I was hospitalized, she would come and see me in the hospital. Anything that I needed from her as far as like prescriptions, recommendations, if I needed things signed, bam, she was right there every time. Didn't waste any time. Dr. Fasawazdi is no nonsense. And that's one of the things that I like about her. Her her patients are paramount to her. Even when she's exhausted and she feels like she can't go on, she always puts her patients first. Even to the detriment of her. And I wish she would take more time for herself and take care of herself more. Because with doctors that care, they pour so much caring and they pour so much love into their patients, they burn out. And it's not, it's not a good thing to see, especially when you have a, a great doctor like Dr. Fosawazdi. During the transplant process, she always put me over. Always gave, always gave me a, a, a ringing endorsement to transplant. Anytime she had to interact with them. Always gave me advice what to do and what not to do in relation to transplant which is more than a lot of doctors that I've had would do. There was one doctor in particular I crossed paths with and this man wanted me more than anything to love this. And he didn't even recommend that I try for transplant. And there's a lot of racial implications for that. This particular doctor was and I don't want to get his race wrong, but he was Asian. I'm not. So he never backed me or endorsed me nowhere near the same way as Dr. Fasawazdi. And being a dialysis patient could be as easy or as challenging as the doctor that's with you. If you have a doctor that's constantly undermining you, constantly not listening to you, constantly discouraging you to from doing things that'll help you because they just don't feel like you're worth it then it makes being a dialysis patient a, a very discouraging very frustrating experience but I can't say that about Dr. Fasawaski she is an incredible nephrologist that I've learned a lot from and when she saw how much I cared about this then she cares about it. I'm going to play devil's advocate here, okay? Like, when if you're a doctor and you have a patient that clearly does not care about any of this stuff, they don't change their diet, they don't change their lifestyle, they still do all the same things that they did before and they don't care about their health, you know, as a doctor, that incentivizes you to not care as much, so you pour that energy into patients that do. And regardless of what a dialysis nurses or transplant coordinators or people who don't know me say I do care about this I care about this immensely and she's definitely one of the people that got me to transplant I remember one time uh, I was in the hospital I was hospitalized for something I can't remember what it was and uh, this like this one nurse who had um, did some blood work for me was kind of dragging her feet when it came to getting the results back to Dr. Fasawazi. So she 
So she was like, you're done. I'm going to get these results from somebody else because you're taking too long. That's the kind of doctor she is. When Dr. Fasawazi wants something and she needs something, she needs it then. Not on somebody else's time. She wants it right now. And that kind of like dogged determination proved to me how much she cares about my success. When you have a doctor that cares about your success and wants to see you succeed, it should incentivize you to want to be better. Because in the past, I've had doctors that didn't care. And it's not very encouraging. Especially if they're not listening to you, if they don't care about your success, and they don't care about you getting a transplant, it can be very discouraging. On top of all of the other discouraging things that happen to you as a dialysis patient. She never once ever tried to change me. She never once ever tried to make me love this. She understood why I feel the way I do about this and she just accepted it. So her main focus was to get me to a point where I could get a transplant. And I am very grateful for the time that we had. And it was a privilege to have her as my nephrologist. 